In this video, I'll show you how I successfully bypassed iCloud with full SIM and signal working using the free Broke Ramdisk Pro tool. No paid service, no jailbreak needed. This is one of the most effective and updated methods for 2025. Watch carefully till the end and follow each step to unlock your iPhone the right way. Let's begin. I forgot the passcode of my old iPhone 7 and don't really remember its Apple ID, so we will turn off the phone and then keep holding volume button to put the phone into recovery mode. Now we will copy its serial by using 3U Tools or iTunes, and then check Find My iPhone Status. If it's really locked on iCloud or not, Google any free FMI Checker website, enter the serial, and check. As you can see, my phone's Find My iPhone is on. Let's bypass it with SIM working. Launch Broke Ramdisk Tool. You can download required tools by the links in descriptions. Now in Broke Ramdisk Pro Tool, go to Options and choose Bypass Passcode Ramdisk. It is asking for ECID registration. Click on ECID and it will be copied automatically. Now click on register and it will open ECID registration web page in your browser. Here you need to wait for 60 seconds and then paste ECID and click on register. I did fast forward to save your time. Reconnect phone to computer and you will see the registered message in Broke Ramdisk tool. Here, check its current iOS version to avoid Ramdisk errors. As you can see, mine is iOS 12.xx. Now go options again and choose Passcode Bypass Ramdisk. Then come back and click on Start. First, the tool will boot our device into the recovery mode. Now follow on-screen instructions. Choose current iOS version and then click on Boot Device. Now this is tricky, most of the times we get error here. But don't worry, device has been successfully booted into the PWNDFU mode. Just come back to Tools Home, and here click on Fix Drivers. Once fixed, reconnect the device. Click on Boot Device again. If you haven't downloaded compatible boot files already, it will launch web page with boot files. Here download the correct boot file. You can find the correct version on Broke Tools home screen. Download correct file and save it into the boot directory of Broke RAM Disk Tool and then retry. It will boot the device successfully.
You will see a lot of numbers on your phone's screen. Some boot versions doesn't show these numbers on screen, but don't worry, and just follow the tool's instructions. Now here, click on Backup iDevice, and it will generate an activation zip file. Now click on Erase Device to format the iPhone. Now, if your iOS version is lower, then you can real fast your device with latest iOS version. If you are already on latest version, you can skip this flashing part. Hey, mine's iOS 12, so I will definitely flash latest iOS 15.8.4 on my iPhone 7. First, I downloaded and chose the correct firmware and then started flashing. We have flashed the iPhone 7 to latest iOS version. Let's try to activate. You can activate it by using iTunes or 3U tools. Or you can connect it to Wi-Fi and then tap on Next. I'll use 3U tools to make it quick. Here you can see it's locked on iCloud. Now we will restore the activation to make it working with SIM card. 
So launch the Broke RAM Disk Pro tool and click on Options and then select Bypass Passcode RAM Disk. Come back to Main Screen and click on Start. Click on Next and it will boot our phone into the recovery mode. Follow on-screen instructions to put the phone into DFU mode. After entering in DFU mode, choose the correct current iOS version. As you have seen, I did flash iPhone to iOS 15, so I'm going to choose iOS 15. Click on Boot ID Device. Whenever you boot device into PWN DFU mode, most of the times broke RAM disk tool stops on exploiting iDevice. The trick is, when Live USB K driver appears in Device Manager, immediately unplug and replug data cable in your device. It will pass that error, and Tool will boot the device into RAM disk mode. Here, you make sure if you have downloaded correct iOS boot files in the Tool's boot directory already. you will see a success message. iDevice successfully booted into SSH mode. Click on OK. Now click on Next to continue. Click on Activate iDevice. It is showing Activate Device message because Tool has detected the passcode activation bypass backup files existed in backup folder already. It will take a few seconds to restore activation. And for the future, copy that activation zip file at somewhere safe. So in future, if you reset or reflash your iPhone, by the help of that activation backup, you will be able to activate your iPhone with SIM working again. If your phone is already bypassed with SIM working, then this method will not work. It only works when you backup your device on passcode screen in original condition. Backup of original condition will always work no matter how many times you restore. After successfully bypass with SIM working, we will make sure if SIM is working, and also we will check its FMI status. As you can see, it's still locked to iCloud, but because of SIM working bypass, we are using it as a normal device. iCloud bypass complete, and yes, SIM is working. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who needs it. All the tools and instructions are linked below. Stay tuned for more free and tested iPhone unlock methods only on this channel.